Hey guys, Celtic Fire here, back in another part in Pokemon Fire Red. In this, or in the last part, we took on Blaine and Cinnabar Island Gym, and won ourselves a Volcano Badge. In this part, we're gonna do the Savai Island side quest, which is exclusive to Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. So what we need to do is just basically explore the Savai Islands. We've only, I've only done this once ever. And this is the first time I played, or it was the first time I played Fire Red, probably about five months ago or so I'm not sure but um, we got ourselves a pass to go to different islands on the Savai Island so we're gonna head to two island because one island all we need to do is talk to Bill and Celio I think was his name but anyway what we're gonna do is I believe we need to talk to somebody on this route I don't know what's over there I don't want to get my Oddish out figure out right now uh, do we need to talk to you uh, no, but he is the Pokemart, pretty much. Uh, you could gra buy some Great Balls. We have plenty of that. Fresh water, basically a super potion. We don't need any of that right now, so let's head up here. Keep Brink. I, actually, I don't think we need to go up here either. We need to talk to somebody. I just don't remember who it is. Maybe... Yeah, I think we need to go in here. And Yep, okay. Yep. Now, where's Lostel gotten to today? She always brings me lunch every day about right now. Hmm, you there. Are you a friend of Lostel's? Have you seen Lostel around? I don't know where she might be. She should have been here a long time ago. Lostel's a cutie. She's got my looks. So what if someone... What if someone thinks happened to my Lostel? Please help me find her. Please go search the island. Ha! What is this game corner? How much sadder can this get? These clowns. They said they'd be waiting on this island, so where are they? Hey, you. Is this the only three island around here? Try waking up before you crawl out of bed, you punk. This is Two Island. Oh, wait. I... Move it. Get your filthy motorbike out of my place. Huh. Oh, gotcha. Tch. These islands are confusing. Would you look at that? That punk scuffed up my floor. So, yeah. It's the game corner of the Savai Islands, I believe. If It's some link cable thing. Not sure. I didn't try it out. But let's go up here. I think there's something up here we can go find. Uh, and here we go. We got an Oddish. So level 30 Oddish, which is decently high level. But that's one of the things, you, one of the Pokemon you can find on the Savai Islands. I believe if we go in here and we talk to this lady, I perfected the ultimate move of its type, but no one will take it. Mm, you, that's Blastoise. Oh, this is the one. This is the Pokemon. This Blastoise is mad. Yeah, Hydro Cannon. Okay, yeah. So basically, um, if you have a uh, one, you if you have the starter Pokemon evolved all the way and on the first part of your party, like right there. I don't know why I'm pointing at. You can't see where I'm pointing at. But um, you can learn the different variants of uh, Hyper Beam, which Blastoise can learn the Water Move Hydro Cannon. I believe Charizard's called. It is called Fire Blast, and I don't remember what uh, uh, Venusaur's is, but yeah. Um, but we're going to teach Blastoise Hydro Cannon, I think. And I think we'll get rid of... We'll get rid of Protect for it. So now Blastoise has a much better water type move than Water Pulse. It's only 10% less accurate but so much more powerful. Yeah, it's just much more powerful. That's all you need to know. All right, so let's head on back down. And if you heard the biker, it looks like we need to head to Three Island next. So that is our next destination. So let's get back to the boat. And let's continue on our merry way to Three Island. Woo! High speed, too. Yeah, because that's super fast. Alright, and also if you didn't notice, the person we're looking for, her name is a pun on Lost, Lost L, ha, ha, ha. Alright, anyway, I think we have to battle these bikers. Maybe not. No, maybe not. Okay, I guess we don't have to buy, battle those bikers. But, we're on three island. There we go, this is what, are you the boss? Go back to Kanto right now. Ha, huh, I just got here, pal. Whoops. With the hostile I do, it's mighty cold of you. Your gang of followers have been raising havoc on their bikes. Do you have any ideas how much trouble they've caused on the island? 
No, man, I don't get it at all. Look at this place. What do you do for entertainment? You ought to be thanking us for li li livening up this sleepy village. There we go. But all right, if you insist, you can try making us leave. Girl, you cowards, so tough in a pack. So what we can do is go up there and... You know what you're staring at. Don't you know it's not polite? You want to make something of it or what? Yeah, I do. Let's get... I got you. I got you, dog. Got your back. So what we're, we're going to do is find Biker Goon. <laughs> Apparently they don't give these people names. He's just a Biker Goon. Alright, with our Blastoise, let's try our, our new Hydro Cannon move. Let's try out our new Hydro Cannon move and not miss. How about that? And Oh, come on. Blastoise. Okay. That's alright. Let's do our Hydro Cannon and not miss this time. There we go. That, I believe, will knock it out. Good. And Blastoise gonna level up. Yes, all right. Got level 41 for Blastoise. Uh, I think we're yeah, Grimer. We need to give Firo some love because it's the only one that's not in the 40s yet. So let's go Firo. Ah, seems like it wasn't too long ago that our Firo was a little Spiro. Um, let's do Fly. Let's see how that does first. Can you screech on us? Did do anything since we're playing? And okay, so I'd say maybe an aerial ace will take it out. Might not. I could be wrong. Let's see. Got it. All right. And let's. No, we can't find yet another Pokemon. What? What is this kid? All right. Oh man, don't you dare laugh. Are you? Aren't you from Kanto? You should be on our side. And now we got another biker goon. And he has only one Pokemon, he has a coughing. And we're going to have to send out our Blastoise again since it is the first Pokemon in our party. But let's use Hydro Cannon again and miss. Fantastic. Oh no, okay, yeah, we're not using Hydro Cannon again. Uh, let's do Strength, actually. How did that miss? You gotta be kidding me, Blastoise. And there goes the poison again. Let's oh what let's try Blizzard. I think this might do it. Hopefully it will do it. Good, okay. And now we gotta find or fight the last biker goon. Because I think we only have to fight three of them. What's the matter with you getting all hot like that? Totally uncool, man. We invited the boss out here, but you had to mess it up. You embarrassed us, man. And somehow he's going to fight us behind his uh, biker friend there. And he also has one Pokemon, Grimer. Grimer we will take out with a blizzard. And... <laughs> Blastoise, you're not having very good luck this episode. Did Firo give you that bad luck? Come on, man. Come on now. Alright. I feel like blizzard's less accurate move-wise, but Hydro Cannon just isn't doing that well. This episode. Oh, and also somehow Grimer survived. And yeah, I was gonna say our Blastoise is not gonna survive. So let's use our Firo now. <sighs> oh, sorry for all the yawning. I'm just tired, I guess. Uh, but my Goon was defeated. What if people actually talk like that? I Yep, okay, I was gonna... Oh, no, nope, never mind. I guess we have to battle the main biker guy. Q-Ball, I think that's what they're called. Q-Ball, yep. And he has, actually has a name, Paxton. And, of course, his wheezing. We can't use Dig on it, which is super effective against it. However, let's use Mega Punch. That should take about half weight. Or, oh, ooh, oh, no. Okay, come on, Nudiking, you can survive. You can do it. Dang it! That's alright. He has another Pokemon. I think I'm gonna have to send out my Jinx since they are using a lot of poison types. Uh, I really wish we could find the item Twisted Spoon because that would really help with Zinx right now. So let's give it a Psychic. And that should take care of Muck. Since it's the same type attack bonus, super effective. If only we had a crit, it would have been perfect. And so much experience. Jinx, I am just glad I picked you up. 
And that should take care of the bikers. And there they go. And we're going to heal up real quick. I'll cut and I'll meet you right back where I was. Alright, now that we're back here, let's talk to these people who look lost. Thank you, those goons were nothing but bad trouble. Oh look, your Pokemon got hurt on my account. And he gave us a full restore for free. You've got seriously impressive Pokemon with you. I'd be in being fantastic if someone as strong as you lived here. I hope you'll at least stay here a while. I beg your pardon, you're looking for Lostel. Lostel went off towards Bond Bridge a while ago. Alright, so there's our clue of where we need to go. And why does Zinx have the mail still? God darn it. I do not want you to hold the mail. There, Jinx. Okay, so what we're going to do is they actually have a Pokemon Mart here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I think there isn't anything too important here, but I could be wrong. And now we're on Bond Bridge. Hmm. Oh, there you go yawning again. Uh, this looks like an area where an uh, item would be. So let's search around real quick. Maybe not. Okay. And if I were to brought my Oddish, we could have cut down those trees. However, I'm not going to bring my Oddish. And look key here. We got ourselves a Venonat. Venonat, or bug poison type, I believe. We ran into its evolution, a Venomoth, not too long ago with Koga. Not Koga. Um, with... Sabrina, because for some reason Sabrina had one, but yeah, I was going to actually try to catch that, because we still need to catch 60 Pokemon to get to do the extra parts of this. Uh, let's see, I will use, yeah, we'll keep Nidoking out there, it's not going to be any or much use to us for the next gym battle. We'll teach you what our favorite Pokemon is. I bet you it's either Clefairy or Jigglypuff. I guarantee you, or it's Evolutions. Clefairy and Clefairy. How would I know? Alright, well, should be no problem for Firo and Nidoking. Let's use Fly on the left one, and Nidoking will use Dig on the right one. So we should not be hit at all with our moves that take an extra turn. And it looks like we have no Pokemon now. Cosmic Power, I have no idea what that does. Oh, apparently it raises... The defense and special defense. Metronome, let's see what it's going to do. Swift, that's not going to hit us, even though it always hits if we uh, are on the ground. But since we weren't, it was not an issue. Alright, and ooh. Oh no, come on. Why? Why did that happen? And obviously, yeah, now that makes sense. The cosmic power is why it had... Impro er, improved defense. Metronome, hopefully nothing bad. Ooh, toxic. Ouch. That's not good. Firo, you can survive this. I know you can do it. Let's do mirror move and let's mega punch this one. Oh yeah, I forgot it's in love. Okay, good. Good job, Nido King. That's not going to take it out though. Mirror move. And yeah, we are too fast for it, apparently. And stop using cosmic power. That's just so annoying. Gosh darn it. Actually attack. Moonlight. Oh, no, that's going to heal. At least it's the one that's not raising its defense. So that's good. All right. Furo, I'm going to have to use Aerial Ace on that one. And hopefully, no King, you're just actually going to... Yeah. Oh, there we go. All right. That's good. And it look oh, good. All right. All right, there we go. I've been saying all right a lot this episode. I'm sorry. So hopefully we have an antidote on us so we can use it on Firo because I really don't want to run back to the Pokemon Mart and have to cut more. But oh, full heal. Full full heals work. Okay. And now let's keep on a moving. And we'll see if we run into any more wild Pokemon in this area. This looks okay. We do run into more wild Pokemon, and we also have another Oddish. And again, we already have an Oddish, one of our HM slaves, but we're going to run away. And let's see. This looks like an item. Yes, it is. It's a Max Repel, which we could use. I'm not going to use it right now, though, because I want to see what Pokemon we have in this area. Like, oh, we have a Pidgeotto. Alrighty. 
And let's run away from it. So now we know we have Pidgeotos, Oddishes, and Vino Nats. Looks like Oddishes are the most prevalent of them all, but I would check uh, Bulbapedia.net to make sure. That's a very good website. That's where I usually get my information for stuff. And, oh, we got a good type matchup here. Bulbasaur versus Firo. Let's do an aerial, aerial ace on it. And down goes Bulbasaur. Firo might level up now, finally. Nope. Next one, Ivysaur, alright. That means either her last Pokemon is going to be some out of the blue Pokemon or it's going to be a Venusaur. I'm guessing Venusaur since it looks like she has the Bulbasaur of Evolutionary Tree. And there goes Ivysaur. Now, Firo, you should be leveling up to level 40 and you'll finally be caught up with everybody. There we go. And it's trying to learn Drill Peck. Ooh, I think that's a yeah, okay, yeah, that's a little better than Aerial Ace, but I think I'll probably have to get rid of Mirror Move because Mirror Move hasn't done me jack. So, we got rid of Mirror Move for Drill Peck because Drill Peck's a much stronger move than Aerial Ace. And it has Ivysaur for its last Pokemon. So, let's for fun use Drill Peck for the last move. And that was an interesting animation. There goes Ivysaur. So no, we have not run, or did not have to face a Venusaur. Probably won't have to until we run into Gary slash Blue again. All right, we ran, finished Aroma Girl. Let's go this way, this way. Um, we don't have to fight this tuber, but I'm going to not fight it anyway, I guess. Um, da, 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 da. Let's try to avoid everybody here. And here we go, and here. This is where we need to go, the Berry Forest. And as you can see, it has the Viridian music. Well, you might not hear it. You might, I might be talking too loud, but if you can hear it, it has the Viridian Forest music going on with it. And I'm going to use our max... No, you know what? Let's just see what Pokemon we have in here. I was... Okay. First inch, I bet it's an Oddish. No, it's his evolution, a Gloom. And if we had a Leaf Stone, we could evolve it into a Vile Plume. However, in my first time playing... I read I had a vile plume and it did not help me after probably the fifth gym or so. So not a great Pokemon. I tried it though. Can't so I guess maybe I had bad moves set with it, but I don't know. There's another Venonat. I'm gonna try to catch this one. I'm gonna have to use Steel Wing on it because it looks like that probably won't won't be very effective or just normal effective. All right. No, our defense rose. All right, I'll take that. And that's not going to be very effective against us. I'm going to guess two damage. Oh, right on the money. And let's try to catch this Venonat. Since it's close, I believe, to an evolution. Oh, I'm not going to Let's try a Pokeball first. I bet it's going to break free. But let's... One, two, three. All right, actually, that... Must have used uh, reverse psychology on it. And alright, there we go. Vena Nats. Data was added. And we are much closer to being able uh, to go to the second or the uh, post game stuff. And now we don't have to worry about catching another Vena Nat. I'm sorry if this is uh, annoying you that I'm showing you all the wild Pokemon. I just want to show you to, so that way like you can get an idea of what's going on in this episode. Ooh, we got an item over there. Let's see what it is. Since we have a Pokemon that can surf. All right, Gyarados. Let's see what we got over here. And we can't pick it up from the water, all right. It's a full heal. So basically our full heal we used late or earlier in the episode is now been later replaced. So it's good. Let's use our bike. And now there goes the Viridian Forest music. And we're going to run into another, oh, we're going to run into a Pidgey. And I don't have a Pidgey, but yeah, I'm not too worried about it. I can catch it better, Pidgeys at early in the game, and it will be much easier to catch. There's a Gloom. Bye, Gloom. I don't need to talk to you right now. <clears throat> and, blah, 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 okay. Oh gosh darn it. All these trees that could be cut. 
that are in my way. Another Vena Nat. So it looks like we got Glooms and Vena Nats as the most prevalent ones, but I could be wrong. This is a very small sample size. And we got ourselves a Max Ether. So that might be useful for us later, maybe in like the Elite Four. Um, there we go. Surf over here. And surf away. And if we go up here, I believe this is where we need to go. Yes, here's a lost Dell. <laughs> oh, please help. A scary Pokemon appeared. It keeps scaring me. I made lost Dell scared. Apparently, I talked to myself in the third person. Oh my gosh, it's coming again, Daddy! And the scary Pokemon is, oh no, it's a Hypno. It's a level 30 Hypno, too. So let's use Drill Peck on it. I believe we can actually catch this one, so let's try catching a Hypno. I've never used a Hypno in, or a Drowsy in any of my teams ever, but maybe for a different game if I play another Pokemon game, which still I will take re recommendations for my next Let's Play. I am considering continue Let's Playing. I just need some suggestions from you guys. I have ideas in my head. I just want to see if you guys are going to recommend any of the same ones that I am thinking of currently. But... We caught ourselves a Hypno, and... Alright, yet... Uh, that was scary. Lost Del, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I pop a berry. What's your name? Lost Del, scary. Why are you talking to yourself in the third person, little girl? Say, like you rescued Lost Del. How can I thank you? Lost Del, darling, forgive me. I think I gave him this guy, like, four different voices in this episode. Daddy didn't know you were scared. It's okay, Daddy. I gotta be friends with Red. Right, okay. So, I think that's all we need to do for the Savai Islands side quest. And we should be able to go back to Cinnabar Island, but we need to go back to one island first and talk to Bill. So, let's go find Bill at the PokeNet, whatever that thing is. It's like a Pokemon Center, but it's not called a Pokemon Center. Alright, let's talk to Bill. Oh, hey, Red. Did you see? We got the PC working. I've got a few things to show Celia here. Can you go... <sighs> what else could I have to do? I guess... Oh, yeah. Since I visited all the islands, I can fly now to one, two, or three island. Let's go to three island. Not three island. I meant to go to two island. Gosh darn it. <sighs> Back to two <laughs> island. No, not the summary. Come on. Fly. There we go. Let's go to two island. And as you can see, the islands are not just the little islands I'm showing here. There's more to it. And maybe I need to talk to somebody here. Oh, what's that? You're saying this is for me? Ha, blah, blah, dee, doo, doo, doo. Oh, okay. That's what we needed to do. Oh, I see this from Bill. You have to thank him for me. You know, you've been fantastic. I want you to have this. So he gave us a Moonstone. We have, I think we have enough Moonstones to evolve all the Pokemon that need Moonstones, which would be Clefairy, Jigglypuff, and Nidorina. But let's fly back to one island finally. And now we should be able to finish the Spy Island side quests like I thought, or like I said earlier. But I thought I could much earlier, earlier than that. There we go. Now let's talk to Bill. Oh, hey, Red. What kept you so long? Been out having a good time? We got it done. The PCs are up and running. The job went incredibly quick. Bill is an amazing guy. No, no, there was almost nothing left for me to do. Celio, I have to hand it to you. You've learned a lot. Oh, really? <laughs> well, there you have it. I finished the job. We should head back to Kanto. I'll be seeing you again. I'm really sorry that we sent you off alone today. I promise I will show you around these islands sometime. Alright, and now here we go. We're heading back to Kanto, a.k.a. Cinnabar Island, specifically. Hey, wasn't that a long cruise? My buddy Celio seemed to enjoy your company. I'm sure he'd welcome you if you were to visit him again. If you have a tri-pass, you can eat, always take a ferry from there from Vermilion Port. Alright, thanks for your company. And somehow, Bill walks down here and disappears. But that's going to be it for this episode. We took on the Savai Island side quest, and that's a decent amount of footage for this episode. I don't want to run the vi video too long. But I think in the next part, we're going to take on the next gym. So 
if you realized earlier in the Let's Play where we ran into a gym but we couldn't go into yet, I think you know where our next gym is. Or if you played Pokemon in general, like I have. But, until the next part, I would appreciate a like. Any thoughts, comments, concerns, or complaints, leave them below in the comment box. Otherwise, have a good day.